Well, I was just alerted to a story about a couple who sneakily endeavored to engage in some couple activities in public on the Serenity Deck on a Carnival cruise ship. And well, they, they would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for them dang meddling kids. Now that the couple has been exposed, it begs the question, should Carnival ban this couple? Let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I am your host, Tony, here to talk you through everything going on in carousing. And well, today we want to talk about some things that deal with the intimate side of life. Not to be confused with the delicious intimate donuts, uh, which I may have had a few in my life. We're, we're here to talk about some forbidden love, as it were, and the upsetness of one particular carnival passenger who witnessed children witnessing uh, the secret love affair of a passionate couple. The story goes like this. There was a woman minding her own business, enjoying her time on the serenity deck on the carnival conquest, when all of a sudden a ruckus, a ruckus arose. Now you may be asking me to describe the ruckus, but as Mr. Werner would say, look, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. The lady described the ruckus. She said that she noticed a, a lot of kids running up to the bars, the slats, the outside of the serenity deck and peering through and then running off, which prompted the Sherlock Holmes synapse in her brain to fire. And she began to investigate. And upon investigation, she realized that the kids were coming up to the fence to witness the intimate act of a couple perched there on the serenity deck. She described in her post that the kids could clearly see the man's buttocks. And this was, uh, this was the cause for the coming back and forth to peer through the fence of the serenity by the children. Now, fortunately, up there on the serenity deck, they do have a number of water hoses and she immediately grabbed the water hose and sprayed it on the couple involved in the interconnectedness and they separated like dogs in the yard. I'm just kidding, I doubt that happened, but that would be fun to see, right, if that happened. But she went to social media. I don't know if she went anywhere on the cruise ship, but she went to social media and she said that this must be stopped, that our children cannot be exposed to this, and then adults who don't want to see this, I love that she qualified it, there might be some adults out there that don't want to see this, suggesting that there might be adults out there that do want to see this, there might be adults out there that don't want to see this, and children, and hence therefore an ergo that should not be taking place in public spaces on the cruise ship, Serenity Deck or not Serenity Deck, you know the Serenity Deck is for adults only, and so the children were only uh, observing this by proxy because there were holes in the wall, but the lady was saying regardless of the serenity, not the serenity. This should not happen on cruise ships. And of course it fired the Sherlock Holmes synapses in my brain. Well, maybe it didn't fire off the Sherlock Holmes synapse in my brain, but more the David Hume synapse in my brain. It made me want to ask you guys the question, what is the appropriateness or inappropriateness of uh, interconnectedness of couples on cruise ships? Should it only be confined to the cruise cabin, the interior of the cruise cabin, or is it appropriate for maybe to spill out onto the balcony? I know there's some people out there that claim to be members of the balcony club. And should it ever, should it ever be permitted for it to spill out uh, into the public spaces like the Serenity Deck? If I was answering that question, I would probably say it should be confined to the cabin because of the kid aspect, because of the other people not wanting to see that aspect. I know there is a whole stimulation by risk thing that goes on in the brain. So possibly doing something in public or doing something where you're not supposed to, that could heighten the you know encounter, that kind of thing. But I think when it comes to cruising, at least cruising on the, you know, the major cruise lines, I think you have to confine it to the cabin and get inventive inside of the cabin. But what do you think? Now that this couple has been busted, should they be banned from cruising? Is this a bannable offense? Should they be harshly scolded? Uh, what can you do to make the kids unsee it? Nothing, I would think. Uh, how should cruise lines deal with people risking it for the biscuit in public spaces? I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much for checking out the show today. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more cruising content. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.